Hi guys, so today I'm gonna do a quick review of those super cute pens I just picked up from AliExpress. I had mentioned like this set I think was um, 14 or 15 dollars um, from one of the stores that I shopped from on there. You know how they have different sellers but it's through AliExpress. And then this set was from another store and I had shown in my haul how it was all wrapped and nicely and it came with all these inks. Now I already tried one of these pens out because I could not wait and I reordered another set. Okay, so this is a 20 piece set. And this is the 10 piece set. Um, 10 piece girls is what they call it. They have a blue one for boys and then they have a mixed set. So you can have some pink and some kind of blue or black or different colors, right? So that's the girl set. I believe this one was also a girl set when I picked it up. And um, this one came with, like I said, erase, like erasing paper or something, blotting paper. It came with um, a few inks inside and then some cartridges, some extra ink cartridges and nibs and then it came with a ton of ink right uh, this is more than 20 pieces I didn't even see that it was on the thing labeling saying that it was gonna come with ink so since I love these already like I said I just tried one out real quick I ordered another set and they emailed me or they messaged me on Aliexpress like within an hour the people that sell these and they're like hey it looks like you really like those um, I just want to mention that perhaps we're gonna send it this time without ink because last time I went through with ink even though I told the line haul not to put ink in it because we're not supposed to ink send liquid to the United States but you got it anyway so I guess you're lucky it said so this time um, I don't want to send ink they're like unless you want the ink still um, let me know and I was like yeah I want the ink <laughs> like go ahead and send it so I'm just letting you know because in case you order yours maybe they're not gonna send you this huge pack of ink which would be a bummer because um, I think this was like 34 bucks for the 20 piece set and um, that's a lot of ink so I'm like no send me the ink dude so I have that here this company, when they sent me theirs, it just came with a couple extra cartridges, but it came with 10 extra nibs. Oh no, 8 nibs, sorry, which is weird because there's 10 pens, but whatever. Each pen has a nib already in it with its ink. So if you see these on AliExpress, sometimes some people sell them like four at a time or just one by itself. Um, it's this little pen, and it's a metal casing, super adorable. Each pen has a cartridge in it already ready to fill up with the ink that you might have in a ink... Um, uh, pot. So I'll use this one because I already have it in my hand. I'm going to put that to the side. They're all the same. So this is the one that came out of that 20 piece kit that I already tried out yesterday and I already put a picture of it on AliExpress and I'll just show you real quickly. Um, you know, opened it up, popped in the cartridge. I did not pop in the cartridge far enough the first time so I had to push it in there really well and it worked then. So let me see how and look at that. It's been sitting overnight. A lot of times with cheaper pens, it might sit for a couple hours, overnight, a few days, and it won't write because it dries out a little bit, so you have to kind of like re-wet it. But this has been sitting here m more than overnight because I did this in the morning. And um, I don't know what I'm drawing, a little person, <laughs> a little alien. And it is drying just perfectly, or writing just perfectly. And I use the ink that they sent over, so there's that. Um, so let's just show you real quickly how this works. So you would open this up. Nib is already there. You're gonna open this guy up. Let me grab a ink, but I'm probably not gonna use it. I forgot to grab ink. So I have this one, but this is for a dipping pen, okay? It has like um, swirly stuff. You don't wanna put this. Whenever you buy ink for a fountain pen, you wanna make sure it says for a fountain pen. And this is pretty much, it says calligraphy, use only with steel nib or brush. Now, um, it's still a dip pen, okay? <laughs> So a dip, like if you had that little feather kind of pen or those glass pens. So I'm not gonna dip this in here, but I will open it just to kind of show you what you would do. What's cool about this system is that um, instead of screwing it down and up for the uh, ink to come in, you're just gonna push down on this little lever and pull up, okay? Now this does come apart or come away from the body. So that's why it's just like a universal um, cartridge. So you don't use this without putting it into your pen to load it up. I hope you can see there's like a little little piece in there that you poke it down into. So make sure that's in there nice and tight, okay? And what you would do is you would open up your ink. I'm not gonna do that. Put your pen into the ink, like probably this whole part into the ink, and then just start pushing down, which would take the air out, pull up, and as you're pulling up, the ink should start coming in. If it only fills up too, not too much, push down again and pull up again until it's filled up as much as you would like, okay? And then you take it out, you're gonna clean it off, and you go from there. 
and put it back into your pen and you're ready to go. Right? Screw it back down and you should be able to write with it. Now if you're just going to use a cartridge like I used in this other one, you're going to take that out. And there are universal cart not universal cartridges. Cartridges usually come short and a little bit longer. This one is kind of interesting because it's kind of a medium size. It's not like the short ones. I probably have a few to show you, but they're put away. Since it's just like a fun kawaii little pen, uh, I'm not going to go mess with that. But you're going to take this cartridge and you're going to put it in here. And you push up. And as you heard it pop, and I put it down to push into there because it was kind of tough. Make sure you really push it down. So now I have a very small gap. Before I had a bigger gap, so I just want to make sure that it's all the way in there. Okay? Now, you'll know if it's all the way in there if it writes or not. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put the lid, the body back on. And I'm going to wait. And as you can see, it's not writing yet. And that's not atypical of fountain pens because sometimes it takes a minute for the ink to go through um, this whole body part, which is basically if I had another fountain pen to show you. Let me see. So this is a hooded nib. All this area is covered up, right? All these little black where the ink kind of comes down in through is covered up. It's not white as this, but um, so only that part is showing, okay? So you want your ink to travel all the way through there. Sometimes I tap mine like this. I wouldn't do it with a better pen because um, you don't want to mess up your nib. But see, it's still not writing. So I'm going to wait a little bit. Just kind of let it soak in. Just wait. And what I'm going to do is get a little cup of water and I'm going to... Well, what I did before, I just ran under my faucet a little bit. But I'll just dip it in some water just to get this area kind of wet. And it should start writing. So let's just wait. And if for some reason that doesn't work, then guess what? I probably didn't push it far enough in. Like this one. So I'll talk about this pen. But it looks about the same. As you can see, the gap here. Oopsie. It is pretty much the same what's left there as far as, I, as, far as I've pushed it in. Look how cute this pen is. I mean, they are adorable. And it locks really nicely. And as you put the, if you want to post it, you put your cap on there. It just makes it that much longer, but you don't have to use it posted. I mean, it is a very fine pen. It writes like any other pen that you would write with like a gel pen or whatever. Let me get a little bit closer if I can. Oh, it's a little bit fuzzy. How about that? Okay. Hopefully you can kind of see that. It just writes like any other pen. It doesn't have a lot of variation. If you really push down hard, you might get some, but since it's a hooded nib, it's controlled. So it doesn't really have a lot of variation in the line. Let's see. Nope. Okay. I have a little bit of water here. I'm just going to dip it and see. And once soon as I dipped it, some ink came out. And we're ready to go. And we are off. So the ink, I'm writing on a craft paper. This is more like scrapbooking paper. And it's not super wet, as you can see. I mean, I only waited a few seconds before I rubbed my finger over that. Let's see. Um... That's about five seconds and I can't even get it to smear. So that's pretty good. I like the ink. I like the way it works, the whole thing. If you use the cartridge, again, you can use your own ink, whatever color you want to put in here. Super adorable. They have a little bit of faceting in them, so I suppose that's how you hold it. And so basically these pens, that's what it said. It said um, like kawaii children's fountain pen or children's starter fountain pen or something like that. So basically it's made a little bit thinner. I, think, I don't know if a grown man would like these pens, but for me, it feels nice. It works really well. I don't know if you can tell the variation in the line from one or the other. They look pretty similar. This one looks a little bit darker blue than this ink. But they're different inks. <laughs> um, the one I opened up for four was inside the packet, and this is the ones that were extra on top, so maybe it's just a different color blue. But there it is. Super cute, super adorable, pretty cheap. If you ask me anything, they're like $1.40. If you buy the 10-pack, obviously they're like 14 bucks. Some people are selling this for like 40-something bucks, so pay attention to what you're looking at. Do not pay more than like $15, I would say, for the small pack. And then the big pack, um, well, I don't want to throw you guys off. It might be, I'll have to check. I'll check and put the store. So the store that I bought this from, the store that I got the big pack from, because I think the big pack was $34.95. This one might have been $21. I did buy another set for 15 ish but I think they're plastic pens. Um, what I mean by that is the body is plastic. As you can see, these are all metal. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helps, and you can check them out. Adorable. And then when the ink runs out, um, you just open it up, pull that cartridge out. If you're not going to use that pen for a while, make sure to rinse it, like um, put it in some water and really clean it out. Just this part.
when you pull that out, you want to rinse some water in here and just make sure it's nice and dry when you're done. Unless you're going to just use it again right quick, then put a new cartridge in, okay? Or put in the, um, if you're going to change the color, like I say, you had this blue, but now you have pink cartridges, wash it out um, just with water. You can throw in a little thing like this of water and keep doing it until it's clear or under the faucet. Yeah, I normally don't want to run a nice nib under the faucet, a nice pen, but um, because you might have other things in there that the water gets hot, whatever. Um, but this thing I wouldn't write, I would just run it under the faucet. Um, if you want to replace the nib, so again, if you're replacing the color or changing the color out, you want to wash out all the ink that was there, especially if it was a darker ink. Um, it holds a lot of ink in here <laughs> um, as it's just sitting there. If you want to replace the nib, what you would want to do is get like a little, oh, I can use this, but if you have a nail trimmer, um, like a clipper, like a toenail clipper, just hold on to the very edge. You don't want to clip through it, but just hold on to the very edge and pull it straight out, okay? It's going to take a little doing. Pull it straight out and then put the new nib in, which it would be like these. In the same direction, right? As you see how it came out, you're going to put it right back in. Look how small and skinny they are. They're so cute. Push it right back in there, and then again, the only this little part will be exposed. And just push it in as far as you know you're supposed to do there for that to work. And I think that's all the tips I have, guys. But thanks for watching, and I have plenty more to review. I just wanted to review these because they're super adorable and inexpensive, and you can get right on it if you were interested in them. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.